There's an awful lot of Conservatives watching this programme and members of your own party and members of your own government who think this is a really bad deal. And the reason they think it's a bad deal is that it keeps us far too close to the EU. We've sort of left, but we then join round the back door. I mean, Boris Johnson has said, for instance, we are truly headed for the status of a colony. By surrendering control over our rule book for goods and agri-foods and much else besides, we will make it much more difficult to do free trade rules. rules. David Davis, who was in charge of this only a couple of weeks ago, says the common rule book policy hands control of large swathes of our economy to the EU and is certainly not retaining control of our laws in any real yeah. sense. It, They're right, aren't they? I recognise there are many people, there'll be people watching this programme as there were those millions of people who went out to vote leave who feel really strongly, who feel passionately about this issue, about leaving the European Union. And, and you know, many people who voted from the heart to leave the European Union. My job as Prime Minister is to deliver for them, but also I've got to be hard-headed and practical about this and do it in a way that ensures we get the best interests for the UK. Now, what this proposal, what this common rule book does, is it protects those jobs and livelihoods that do depend on those integrated supply mm. chains, those just-in-time processes, it does deal with the issue of the Northern Ireland and Ireland border. But actually, these are rules that if you had you know, some of our major manufacturers in this studio and asked them, Andrew, they'd say, we're going to stay by those rules. Yeah. We're going to play by those rules anyway. Uh, and that's the point. The this big, is a stable rule book. The big problem. Stable rule book that people would be having to deal with, uh, having to play, uh, use anyway, in order to sell their goods to the European Union. But the problem with the rule book, and that's why David Davis and Boris Johnson and indeed Donald Trump and Peter Mandelson are so upset with it, is that it doesn't allow us to do new trade deals around the world no, in the wrong. same way. That's well, wrong. you say it that's wrong. It does allow You're... us to do new trade deals around the rest of the world. Paragraph 163, in the context of trade negotiations, a common rule book for goods would limit the UK's ability to make changes to regulations. Now that yes. is exactly the problem. You say it yourself in your own white paper. Yes, th there would be regulatory standards, but actually some of these are regulatory standards that we wouldn't want to change anyway. Sure. Because we've been, and no, I've, no, we as I've said, as I've said consistently, no, we can change them, but if let, the me come on to, let, let me come on to mm. that. But this fundamental point about regulatory standards that I've said that we want to continue to be a country that has high standards. This is something that has been consistent across government that we want to continue to have high standards. So all you right. could do trade deals where you tear up all our regulatory standards, but I don't think people actually want okay. us to do that. A very but simple question. Can I just, because there was but another point to your question which I, right. I'd like to Quickly, answer. Yeah. But of course, in what we're proposing, Yes, we say we accept that, uh, we accept those rules, Be the manufacturers will do it anyway, but yes, we say we accept those rules, but there's a parliamentary lock on that. Parliament would okay. take that decision, and if there are any changes, it will be for Parliament to decide whether or not they accepted that change. 